Equation of line given two points. Question 10. Find equation of line through the point P minus 4 minus 3 and X intercept of 2. Well, X intercept. So there is a variation this time. Let's look into the situation and try to sketch our line first and then we will write down the equation. So here is our coordinate plane. Now let's try to locate where the points are. Point P is minus 4 minus 3. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, minus 3, 1, 2, 3. There we are. That's the point 3. And X intercept of 2 means well, x intercept means line crossing x axis at point 2. Okay, that makes sense. So, 1, 2. So, that is the point which we are calling as x intercept of 2. So, let's join these two points and extend our line. So, there we go. That's the line. Okay, that's the line. And let me clearly write down my points. So, this point and this point. So this point for us is P, we say P is minus 4, minus 3, and Q is 2 value of X, and Y is 0, correct? On X axis, the Y value is always 0. So that's the X intercept. So we could write this point as 2 comma 0, right? That's what it is. And our interest is in writing equation of a line in the form of y equals to mx plus b, correct? So that is the form we will be writing our answer in, y equals to mx plus b, correct? So let's do the needful to get the equation. Let's find first step is always to find the slope. So first step, step one is find slope. M. Correct? So let's do that part first. So we said M is equal to rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 change in y divided by x2 minus x1 change in x. So as I said, P and Q, let's call this point as Q, the X intercept. And since the X intercept is 2, Y value is 0, which we saw here, right? So we'll write this as point Q, right? As 2 comma 0. It helps to write so that we know what our X and Y values are, okay? As you know, this is our second point. So we'll write this as X2, Y2. And this is our first point. So we'll write this as X1, y1. Now the difference between y's is 0 minus minus 3. So let's write 0 minus minus 3 divided by 2 minus minus 4. 2 minus minus 4 which gives us minus minus plus 3 over 2 plus 4 which is 6 and that is half. 1 over 2 is the slope. It makes sense. Let's check it. 4 units down, right? So when we go up, we go from here to here, 4 up, correct? 4 up and this is 3 on this side and 2 there. Oh, sorry. Uh, 4 up, this is, so it's not 4 units, it's minus 3. Okay, so what we have here, so let's see the slope from the graph. 3 units down, right? one two three so that is three units down so it is when you're going from point okay let's check our slope from the graph the rough sketch which i've made so you'll see minus four minus three so we are three units down so this one two three that's the three units down right and then if you move right along the x four here and then 2, 4 plus 2, 6. That is what it is. So it is 3 over 6, which is half. Perfect. So it matches, right? So the slope is minus half. Once you get the slope, then the second step is to find y-intercept. 
right? So let's rewrite our equation. So we'll rewrite our equation as y equals to m and now we know the value of m which is half. So we'll write half instead of m, half x plus b. So we have gone one step ahead. So earlier we had y equals to mx plus b. Since we have found m, we substituted the value for m which is half for us. And now we need to find what b is. To find b, select a point. So a good point to select is 2, 0. Both are positive. One of them is 0. It helps to solve. So 2, 0 means x value of 2, y value of 0. So let's write 0 for y and 2 for x and figure out what b is. That gives us 2 divided by 2 is 1 and therefore b equals to minus 1. So we know now the, the value of b also, the y-intercept. So what we know here is two things. That is slope m equals to half and y-intercept b equals to minus 1. So these two things are required to write our equation. Therefore, our equation is which we want to write in the form of y equals to mx plus b can now be written as y equals to slope of half x and y-intercept of minus 1. So that is what it is. And you can check that y-intercept is negative, right? And it is close to 1 in the sketch also. It seems to be correct. So once you have your equation, you can find all the points on the line, many such points, right? By putting different values of x, right? So that is also an exercise which you can do. You can find three more points on the line using your equation. One thing which I like you to do now for this is to check. Is to check whether these points lie on your line or not. Correct? For example, if you have to check this point, then plug in 2 here. And if I do that, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. Yes, I do get 0. So that's perfect. Now let's check it for P, which is minus 4 for X and minus 3 for Y. So if I put minus 4 here, then what do I get? So let's check this out. So let's say if I put minus 4 here, then I get half times minus 4 minus 1. This is equals to, when you divide minus 4 by half, you get minus 2, minus 1. That gives you minus 3. Minus 3 my y value, perfect. So it is a good check. So once you write down the equation, you can check also. Correct? Thank you.